concert that I really remember going to was Foster the People, and uh, they were pretty good. The bands that opened for them were good as well. Currently, I'm in a band called Hang. And we're sort of a punk rock kind of band. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm obviously on the drummer. I've been playing drums since the fifth grade. Uh, I didn't really join band until my freshman year of high school. So like before then, I was just sort of like a casual drummer. But high school is when it started to be like a serious thing, when I really considered myself a drummer. And you're 18. I, I don't turn 19 for another few months. Okay. I can sing. I play a little guitar and piano. Um, I can you yeah. play ukulele? Yeah, ukulele counts. I can play the ukulele. Pretty much any like I can fake my way through any string instrument, I guess. I don't want to say mainstream music is bad, but I think too much of it can be really harmful in a way. I don't know. Mainstream music is is okay, but one should really like broaden their their music tastes. I think local and underground music holds a lot of different styles and flavors that you may not really encounter in, in mainstream music or what you normally listen to, so local and underground music is, is they're really cool, really cool bands that have a lot of, uh, a lot of elements that are not really present in what is mainstream and that's why you should listen to it, just to get a different feel of what's, what's really out there. I'm 14 years old. My favorite genre of music would have to be deathcore. Over chugging. Uh, I think I spent almost 50 bucks on Summer Slaughter. Oh, not much. Um, so the last concert I saw was Carnifex, I Declare War, and Lorna Shore. And um, it was at Studio 7 in Seattle. I am the h string player in Grimaldi Complex. I've had a guitar since I was like 10, so almost five years now. I guess you could say on and off since I was like five, because my uncle had a kid, and I just play that. I've been doing vocals for two and a half years, roughly. Um, money and exposure. It's way better. It's, there's more passion put into the music because you're not being driven by a record label. Honestly, it's, the music's more fun. It's no bull****. It's something what to say. Gypsy Temple. Sixteen. Fifteen. Uh, 
jazz slash fusion. Alternative rock and hard rock. I want to say 150 on tickets on the floor at a gorillas concert. The most amount of money that I spend on a band is zero dollars. I have actually never been to a concert that I had to pay for. Okay, my um, dream drum set is a set with three high toms, two low toms, of course a hi-hat. As many cymbals as possible. Like put, put them in the stand with, with the audience. Put them in the audience. But as much as they can fit on God's green earth, that's how many cymbals I want. And then a regular snare, a snare that's turned off, and then like a piccolo snare that you have. Just, like, just as many drums as you can fit on stage. I use Ernie Ball Cobalts. Tens. I like it a lot because it gives me that sustain that I really like, especially switching sounds. It really helps if you can always have something nice to come back to, and strings really support that. Uh, I do like Vic Firth, but mostly it's anything that's the cheapest at the time, or what people give me. I have been playing guitar since I was six. I've been playing realistically since the fifth grade, but I've been drumming on everything since I was like three. Well, a lot of the, the music that's, I guess, not underground, the mainstream stuff, is very repetitive. When you add, like, a huge amount of business and money to music, it, it loses its, its feeling. Organic it, it, Exactly. It's just once you bring it back to a lower level, where it's really just pure and raw, then you get back to the human part of it. My side of it is we all try to tell stories, and I really feel like underground music does that. I'm not hating on these bigger corporations that are working with artists, because, you know, good for them, they're making money. There's always going to have to be that business element, but everybody can always control how organic it is. And when you can do that, you can really make great music, and underground is where it starts.